Welcome to our yoga practice today, where we will concentrate on unlocking your hip flexibility with powerful hip openers. Let's begin with one of my favorites, butterfly. Take the sole of the feet together, roll the shoulders back, lengthen the spine. Knees facing out, and then slowly start dropping the knees towards the mat if that's available, taking your hands to your feet. And we're gonna stay here for a few breaths. Remember, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. So inhale deeply, exhale fully. Take this for about five to 10 breaths. Seated forward fold, keeping straight legs, toes facing up, lengthening the spine, roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath in and then slowly on your exhale with a flat back, fold forward. Remember to fold from the hips instead of the waist. Avoid rounding the spine. Just breathing here for five to 10 breaths. That's gonna open up the whole back side of the body and it's gonna stretch your hip flexors. Frog pose. So make sure in your frog pose that your knees stack over your heel, your toes are facing out and then slowly start dropping the hips towards the mat. Maybe coming down to your forearms, coming down to a pillow, a blanket. Try to keep your hips in line with the knees. And we're breathing here for five or 10. Now bring the toes to touch. Come back into your hands, sitting the hips down to the mat. Taking your hands either to the knees, maybe taking your hands to your heels. Taking the micro back bending here, opening your heart. Low lunge, keeping the knees stuck over the heel, toes and knee facing forward. And make sure that your knee does not flare to the side. Hips are square. And just keep sending the hips forward and up. We're opening right here, the psoas. You can take your hands to the mat. You can reach the arms all the way up and repeat on the other side. Pigeon pose. So make sure that your hips are square and they're facing the front of the mat. Bend the right leg. If your hips are really tight, then walk your right foot closer to your groin. Maybe sit up on a block or a pillow. If your hips are a little bit more open, then walk your leg forward so your leg is parallel to the front of the mat. Press the mat away, taking your hands to the mat, maybe taking a micro back bend in here. And if you want to, you can walk your hands forward and then just melt the chest towards the mat. And just keep pressing both hips evenly towards the mat and repeat on the other side. Make sure that your back leg is in one straight line from the hip to the toes. Double pigeon, stacking knee over foot, foot over knee. Try to bring the knees down. So if there is a gap between your knee and your foot, feel free to either use a block or a pillow. Gently pressing the knee down and stay here with your hands on top of the leg. Or if you wanna open the shoulders at the same time, you can take your right arm up Bend the elbow, left arm reaches back, interlace the hands, roll the shoulders back, take a deep breath in, and then slowly on your exhale, start folding forward, keeping a flat back. And repeat on the other side. And stay here for five to 10 breaths. Cow face legs, so we're stacking the knee over the knee, flex your feet, and just keep sinking the hips evenly towards the mat. Try not to be sitting on one hip only. So taking both hips evenly towards the mat, taking the hands to your feet. You can sit up tall or you can slowly start hinging forward, keeping a straight back, breathing in here for five to 10 breath. And don't forget to do the other side because we wanna keep the body even. So make sure that you stay here for another five to 10 breath. Coming into your lizard lunge, bring the arms inside of the right leg. Make sure that you're stacking the knee over your heel. Keep hugging the knee towards the tricep, towards the shoulders. Maybe come down to your forearms or stay high on your hips. Sinking the hips towards the mat. Breathing in here for five to 10 breaths. 
And let's not forget to do the other side, so stay here for another five to 10 breaths. Malasana or yogi squat. Sinking the hips down, make sure that your knees are stuck over your heels and your knees and your toes are facing out. Taking your elbows towards the knees and just gently pressing the knees back and out. And breathing here for five to 10 breaths. Happy baby. So lay flat on the mat, bring the knees towards the chest, knees facing out, grab the outside of your feet, relax the shoulders, the neck, and the face. And just maybe use the strength of the arms to pull the knees a little closer to the chest. You can rock side to side to massage the lower back, or you can find stillness. From here, you can start straining in the legs and grab anywhere inside of the legs. Maybe you grab the heels and then slowly start coming into a middle split. Recline pigeon, take your right foot to your left knee. Make sure that your right knee is facing out. Maybe taking the right hand and then slowly and gently press the knee out. Thread the needle, taking the right hand under the right leg, interlacing both hands at the left knee. You can stay here, or if you're looking for more, then take a deep breath in, and then slowly on your exhale, start taking the knee a little closer to the chest. So as you bring the left knee a little closer to the chest, you're bringing your right foot closer as well, and then you're opening the right hip a little bit more. Relaxing the whole upper body, the shoulders, the neck, the face, and just breathing in here with intention. Staying here for five to 10 breaths, or if you prefer, stay here a little bit longer. And we do the other side. So we bring the left foot to the right knee, gently pressing the knee out. Thread the needle, taking the left hand under the left leg, right hand goes to the outside interlacing both hands at the right knee maybe pulling the knee a little bit closer to the chest on the next exhale sweep the arms to the side take your feet mat width apart and then slowly windshield the legs in and out if you enjoyed today's class please like and subscribe and remember you're never too old you're never too late to start working out to start taking care of your body your mind your soul i started yoga at 41 i'll be 15 couple of months start taking care of yourself because if you don't take care of yourself you can't take care of anyone else so you should be a priority for yourself too